Hi everyone, this is Pranav. In today's video, we'll be covering the part 2 of our functional programming. The concept we'll be taking up today is list comprehension. And in, to be particular, we'll be taking up how to uh, create a zero matrix using list comprehension. So to create a uh, zero matrix in general, what we do is we initialize a matrix M and let us say we want three rows. So for I in range of three, we'll create a row for each uh, iteration and then uh, we append as many zeros as we require. So we'll take a three cross three zero matrix here. So our inner loop will also range for three elements. So for J in range of three, row dot append of zero. And once the inner iterations are done, we append row to M. So we give M dot append of row. So this is our uh, conventional approach to create a zero matrix. Now we look into the uh, functional programming way of creating this zero matrix using list comprehension. So what list comprehension does is it reduces the number of lines which we use. So let us take for example, we want integers up till 10 in a list. So in a list comprehension way, what we would do is L is equal to I for I in range of 10. So this will reduce the number of lines which we use to create the list. If, instead, if we use the conventional way, we'll create an empty list and then we'll create for I in range of 10 and then L dot append of I, which consumes more than one line. So this, this is how list comprehension helps us reduce the number of lines. Now we'll use this concept to create a zero matrix. Now in a zero matrix, we saw that we have rows containing zeros, which get appended to the main matrix as we have seen over here. So to create that, we'll have to first uh, get rows containing the zeros and then iteratively add those rows containing zeros to the main matrix. So we'll create, uh, let's say a ma matrix Z. Now this matrix is going to have rows inside it which are basically zero for J in range of three. So what this piece of code does is it generates a list containing three zeros. So for J in range of three, uh, ensures that it iterates three times to create a list containing three zeros. Now we want three such rows for our three cross three zeros matrix. So this list has to iteratively get appended to our matrix Z three times. So we'll include a for loop over here which says for i in range of three. So this ensures that the inner iteration gives us a zero uh, row having three zeros. And this list gets appended to our main matrix Z by the uh, iteration over here for i in range of three. So this is how we'll get our three cross three zero matrix. So I'll print out this matrix Z, print of, is it and we'll see what the output is. So as you can see, we have a three cross three zero matrix provided. So this will be helpful in uh, questions such as addition and multiplication of matrices where we need a base matrix having uh, zeros. Thank you.